Hello again, everybody. So Christmas Picorine is finally here. And I wanted to talk about the little... About how good she actually is. Because, well, she's not as good as I would want her to be, that's for sure. But she's still pretty good. And maybe this can help you guys if, you, if you're still deciding if you want to pull for her or not. Or if you just want to know what she does. Or if you just want to know my opinion, I guess. Since I guess some people will care for some reason. But in any case, uh, well, if anything, she has an amazing background, that's for sure. God damn, she looks amazing. But let's talk about her skills now, shall we? I think I got a voice crack there somewhere. In any case, Union Burst. Precious Strike. Yes, very precious. Basically deals some damage, lowers defense, magic defense, because now she is a mage for some reason, and I... I guess they decided to change things up a little bit, which is kind of funny. I'm guessing they're going to do the same for other characters, probably. Uh, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. But going back to her Union Burst, does some damage, not a lot. She also doesn't really have that much attack. Uh, over here, 20, 21,000. Um, deals, not deals, reduces some defense. And applies to herself some damage cut, magical and physical damage cut, while also healing herself. Which is pretty nice, she's a good tank, she is basically a tank as usual. Uh, so, a nice to have some damage cut to herself by 15%, which is kind of high. And also healing and resistance some defense. So far it's fine, nothing too special. Your first skill. She heals the character with the lowest HP. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> sorry about that. She heals the character with the lowest HP. And around that same character, uh, with a radius of 300, she increases the defense, physical and magical defense, of everyone around that character. So, I guess, single target healing is nice to have, I guess. And it increases some defense. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, also, no, this is not the skill that does damage. This is the skill that does damage. Does some damage and deploys a barrier around herself. The barrier that deals, not deals, blocks physical and magical attacks and recovers TP by not 12,000. I don't remember, I think it's around 50 or something. Uh, I could check. Okay, let's just give me a second while I check her, her actual value. So yeah, it is 50. She recovers by 50. I guess this is just a typo the, the guys uh, made or did or whatever. The, the guy that made the patch, the English patch. I'm sure they will fix this eventually, so it don't, doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, recovers TP, gives a barrier to everyone around her, and deals some damage. Okay, uh, Igor from the future here. I completely forgot about to mention something about Picorina. Uh, it's her... Uh, where is it? Uh... The second skill, yes. The one that recovers CP, gives the barrier and whatnot. I wanted to mention how big the the area around her actually is. And I'll I'll try showing you guys with this team over here. So as you can see, Luna is over here. It's quite a bit far from Pecorini. But actually Pecorini can actually hit Luna. But it doesn't hit Kiaru over here. So as you can see, this is basically the limit for the range. So you'd probably want a team kind of close to Picorin. Uh, it kind of makes this a little bit awkward, I guess. But it should still be fine. Uh, and I think... I think... Let's restart this. I think the defense is actually hitting everyone. Which is interesting to see. <laughs> it shouldn't actually be hitting everyone, but uh, you know. So it's second skill. Barrier. And now first skill. Okay, it's not hitting everyone, so you can see also Luna is the only one getting a defense and Kiaru isn't getting any defense. I mean, really because she is healing herself anyway, so yeah. Uh, if she was healing Luna, I'm guessing Pecorino wouldn't get the defense, but Kiaru would get the defense. But then again, Pecorino doesn't really need the defense, she already has a barrier and a lot of defense anyway, so it should actually be fine. So yeah, that's it. Uh, back to future Igor, or past Igor, past Igor, yeah, that's the one. So, as you guys can see, she's a very defensive tank. And because of this, 
and she barely helps with damage. She only helps with damage over here on, their, on her um, Union Burst, while uh, reducing some defense on the enemy. It, and this is single targets, not AoE, as you can see. So she is a very defensive support tank character. Which by itself is all right. We don't really have that many characters that actually do this. But since she doesn't really help with damage that much, it ends up being kind of underwhelming. But she's basically, because of this, she's basically like a puzzle piece you need in case a boss during clan battle, for example, deals a lot of damage early on. Uh, for example, the, the boss in the, the training mode, I'll probably have some... I'll probably have some footage uh, on screen right now showing you guys like uh, a team comp with her inside. Uh, the boss in the practice mode, this that one actually deals a lot of damage really early on. And because of the Korean's barriers and healing and defense, they can just survive the boss's burst. And otherwise you'd need someone like... Summer Sodden, for example, and Summer Sodden would give TP to Amis, and Amis would use her burst as soon as possible, and that way they would survive, because Amis would be giving the, the defense. But this way you don't need Summer Sodden, you know? It's really just another puzzle piece in case you need a lot of defense really early on, because maybe you just you just don't have enough TP to, to get defense for the support, or the healers or whatever, that to give you actual defense to counter. The boss's burst, uh, you know, yeah, stuff like that. It doesn't really have to be a burst either, uh, just maybe some kind of attack uh, from the boss that just deals way too much damage. It's basically in those situations where you'd need her. So it's not really... It's, it's kind of a niche thingy, you know? You can just, I mean, you can of course use her anywhere else. You need like a tank for a magical team. But she's not really needed. You might as well go with some other options if you want to, if you just want to deal as much damage as possible, you know. So, for example, even made a party over here with other, with other options you might need or might want to use. So people you 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 might people you can substitute Pekurin with. So Noir Kuka, she is still very good. She, besides being a very good tank with a lot of defense, she doesn't really give that much support in terms of defense, but she gives support in terms of attack. For example, her first, not first, uh, which one was it? Uh, minor damage, uh, restore, okay, it is the first skill, now is it? Yeah, the first skill gives a barrier to herself, it's all right, but also increases the attack of the highest magic attacking character in the team. So that way you can also improve the team's overall damage with, with her. And her burst also reduces the defense of the, the boss. Wait, is it the burst? But, uh, yeah, and it increases magic defense. So she is a very good option if you want to boost, boost, um, increase or uh, yeah, improve your damage uh, overall on your team. Another very good option is Monica. She's also used quite a bit in magic teams because she is quite a bit tanky. Even though she is not a dedicated tank, she is really tanky, uh, a really tanky character. And of course, she gives action speed to everybody. She increases attack damage to everybody and actually kind of stuns also uh, with her burst, which is all right. Uh, probably the best option right now for tanks in magic teams is probably Yori, Christmas Yori. Since... Uh, uh, of course, she has a lot of defense, and she also has an amazing skill on her skill too, who gives, or that gives, a lot of TP. She gives a stupid amount of TP to the character closest to her. So usually she would stay in front, and the character behind her would get the TP. So in this case, imagine it's like this, right? So in this case, Kokoro over here would get the TP. Uh, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. And I think the TP also... Yeah, increases action speed, yeah. And boosts attack. This skill is actually ridiculous. It's an amazing skill. It combos really well with other characters. Uh, usually you'd use her as your tank most of the time. In case you don't need, of course, a lot of defense, which is something Pecorin gives. Oh, of course, you'd also use her if you actually need someone to get this TP, uh, TP generation. And action speed and magic attack boost. You might be using a team that 
I guess uh, the the attacker is like at the further back in the team, and that that way Yori wouldn't be able to give her a TP. So you'd use someone else like Kuka, for example. And another less important character, I guess, is Nozomi Six Star. She also increases attack for everybody. She also gives a barrier to everybody and heals people nearby. But she is not really as amazing, I guess, as Picorine. Uh, in terms of defensive capabilities, I guess. But she can kind of do the job. She also taunts. It's more like a PvP character, really. But yeah, taunts, boosts attack. Oh, and I guess... Never mind, I'm kind of wrong. Um, she's not even for magical teams anyway, because she boosts physical attack. I didn't... I completely forgot about that. <laughs> so, uh, forget about this section about Nozomi, you know, please. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Pecorino. Uh, besides that, she's actually kind of good for PvP. Since in PvP, people... The strategy usually in PvP is to use buffer, buffers, uh, TP batteries to, to, to make everyone use their burst as soon as possible and deal as much damage as soon as possible. And Pecorino herself doesn't need the burst to actually give defense. She has the, the first skill, gives defense to everybody around well, the character she heals. And the first, the second skill gives a barrier to everybody around her. So it's very nice to survive really early on, like an initial burst. So she's pretty good for PvP in this case. So yeah, should you pull for Pecorin? Uh, if you're like a newer player, don't bother. <laughs> uh, unless you really, I guess unless you... You really care about PvP, and which and it, now even then I don't think you should because really she's only good for defensive teams. Like if you want to attack in PvP, you don't. I don't think you would actually use her. Uh, so yeah, if you're new to the game, don't pull for her. She's kind of whatever. I mean, she can kind of help you uh, progress through the story or advent um, the main quests. I mean, uh, because of the defense she gives. I guess if you're struggling with some quests because you're just dying, I guess she could be useful. But besides that, I don't really recommend it. She's only really good for people who are already like late game, at level cap, and who only only really care about clan battle. Which is probably where she would shine. Usually Xy games just rigs clan battle to favor the newest characters anyway, so yeah. I mean those cases, because she's really just like a puzzle piece for specific teams or situations. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. I hope this was helpful for anyone, and I'll see you guys some other time. Actually, before I end the video, uh, let me thank Lou2304 for the membership, as usual. And uh, just like I mentioned on my uh, video about the revenue, please, I'm trying to reach a thousand subs, uh, so please, if you're not sub, please consider subbing. It would make me very happy. And now, again, for the second time, I hope this was helpful, I guess. Uh, and, <laughs> and I'll see you guys uh, next time.